What's up guys? This is GC Off-Road. Today's video, I'm going to be making a set of limb risers for my Jeep. Now about two years ago I made a set and I just kind of used what I had on hand like steel cable from a dog leader and stuff. And I figured I'd go out and actually buy the right stuff to make them right this time. I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer and show you what I'll be working with. Alright, here's what I'll be using to make my limb risers with. I went to my local home improvement store and I picked up 20 feet of 3 16th inch steel cable and I cut it in half and trimmed it down to the size I'll need. Now depending on what vehicle you're making your limb risers for and how you're mounting it, your size will be different than mine. But I just got a 20 foot section, cut it in half and then trimmed those two halves down to match where they'd be mounting to. Here I've got two turnbuckles. They were both closed loop and I used my grinder to cut this side out. That way I could hook and loop this through my front mounting points. Now right here, I've got a set of stainless steel carabiners and these are what mount the limb risers to my roof rack. Also for that end of the cable, I've got these uh, eyelets that make a loop in the cable so the carabiners can clip through it like such. I picked up a couple of packs of these 1 8 inch ferrule and stop sets and other than that I got a uh, pack of this heat shrink tubing. I think it's 5 8 inch diameter or maybe a half inch. I'm going to use that after I put everything together to uh, clean up the ends of it to where you don't see the ferrules on them and uh, just make it look better. Now aside from those parts I'll be needing a hammer and a chisel to set the ferrule onto the cable with. I pre-bent my cables to where they need to be bent at and uh, wrapped them in place with some electrical tape while I was setting everything up. That way I could just kind of throw everything on where it needed to be and I'd know where the bends needed to be at to uh, start this off. Now the line I'm using for this has a uh, rubber coating on it that was not going to work with the ferrule I'd bought and I don't want to get no more of it. So what I did was strip the coating off of it and now the cable will fit onto it. First thing I'm gonna do is take one of my ferrules, <clears throat> hope I'm pronouncing that right, and slip it over just like that. Then I'm gonna take one of my turnbuckles and add it to it, slide it over. And then I'm gonna take my cable here, bring it back down and slide it down through there. Now what I'm going to do is set this against something hard and then I'm going to take my chisel and drive down on the center <coughs> of this where the groove is and that will pinch the two lines together. You can see I've got that hammered together. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to strip the uh, insulation off the cable but on this end I'm going to be adding one of these uh, eyelet keeper things to it and then we'll hammer it down around it. Now before I start putting this in together, I wanna to make sure that I put heat shrink tubing on this line. I'm gonna need two pieces, one for the other end and then one for this end. So I've cut this piece kind of like a two thirds on one side and one third on the other. The short side will be up here and the long side will be on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the long side on first, let it slide down and then I'll put it on the short side. Now that I've got those on, I'm gonna go ahead and put my ferrule on. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and start feeding the second line through it before I put my eyelet in. And then once I've got that on there, go ahead and pull up the slack. And that goes on like that. Now I'm gonna take this over to the block and hammer this side down. Now I've got both sides of this made up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other cable and then we'll go through and heat shrink these tubes to set it in place. So I got that done. That's what it looks like. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other cable and uh, we'll get these installed. Now to install these, I've got these mounts I made up on the hood. Uh, the way you install them may be different, but all i got to do is open the turnbuckle almost all the way up, slide it through the hole on the mounting bracket, and then take the other end that has my stainless steel carabiner on it and go up to the roof rack and snap it over the ring. That's now all that's left to do is uh, tighten it down. So I'll just hold onto the cable with one hand and tighten the turnbuckle until it snugs down. I just got that hand tight, which is really all it needs. You see it don't deflect much. You could also use a pair of pliers or a crescent wrench or something to tighten it down a little more if you'd like to. Alright, so it's getting dark on me pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I'll have a list of parts and prices down in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.